Hello all you Scrabble crafters. Welcome to class number 3, NSD 2023. Um, welcome to the class and I hope you are going to enjoy this class. It is a little bit different than um, the, the usual um, layout. I'm going to do a double um, layout. Uh, sorry I forgot to say I'm Bernadette from Be Creatrix. Um, and I'm also, today I'm collaborating with Kcraft. Um, we had a little bit of a discussion to look at different ways of using different types of papers. Kcraft imports all this amazing paper from all the different countries. And today I'm going to use the Minte. And I'm going to show a, a double page layout. So... When I spoke to Kim, I said to her, you know, Kim, I love Minte papers. I'm absolutely in love with Minte. I am also a off-the-page creator. I love making boxes, um, cards, uh, um, anything that's interactive as well. But I also do love um, doing, you know, memory keeping. So, and... When I look at all the Minta creations, I see very little scrapbooking done. I see very little double page layouts done. And I know our South African girls, we love the memory keeping. We love the scrapbooking. We love to have our photos. We, we love to have our, our photos. And um, so we said, okay, let's, let's see how we are going to look at how we can use these Minta papers and... Do more scrapbooking. I do do a lot of memory keeping. I love using Minte um, as my layouts. I'm terrible at posting. Um, I, I promise I will post a lot more of my of my um, makes. So today I want to go through the things that 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 you can do with your Minte papers in terms of scrapbooking. Um, there were three things that we looked at. Number one. The papers have got these beautiful scenes and people think, but what do I do with that? Um, the second thing is, most people, what Kim said, people asked, what do I do with um, paper number six? How do I use it in scrapbooking? How do I make use of all the paper? The, the third thing is also, and, and I don't do it just with Minta, I do it with, with most of my paper, I buy so much and I don't always use everything up because there's going to be another time where I'm going to need some element from there or some paper from there for a specific layout or a specific project, a card or a, a, a album that I'm making. So um, I use things that go with themes. But now the the, the other challenge that, that we also... Um, that we also said is when people see a collection, they have a certain topic in mind. And we said, okay, here's our challenge. Let's take one where we think there's one specific topic that will that what people will buy it for. And um, most people will maybe not buy it because they will never create or, or not, they will never do a layout with that theme. And that that paper pack that we selected was the city of love now this is applicable to to any uh, if you if you look at celebrate penelope d um they've got all this beautiful 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 paper and they've got certain themes in mind but it does not mean you have to use that theme the very first thing that comes to mind is on on the city of love would for example be valentine or um you know uh, Anything that's got to do with a valentine or, or, or love or two people, you know, their love story. And um, you might not be one to, to, to do, uh, even though you, you've happily married, you just don't celebrate uh, Valentine's Day. So you will never go do a valentine layout. Um, you, you're very in love, but, you know, you have your few photos of, of the two of you. And I don't know what's on my photo here. Something happened on it. 
Um, so we said, okay, think what what else? When you see this paper, anything but a Valentine's theme, although Valentine is coming up, you can totally, totally use this layout um, with this paper for, for Valentine. Um, but my first thought was it's a city of love. Now, those who know me well, um, I always call it my zoo. I literally run almost a zoo here. Um, I've got a lot of fosters. Um, most of them are special needs that, that need a lot of medication. Some of them are at the end of their life and they just literally need the bit of love to go, you know, go peacefully. So my city of love is my animals. This is my little city. That's This is where they get their little love, where they have their little place where they belong. We they were used, they were cast outs. This is their city of love. So mine is animals. I, I do document all my animals. I do layouts of them. Um, I do photos um, for Africa of them. Kim's idea was she, she sees travel. And I thought, but yes, travel. And I'm busy documenting um, my, my daughter's travel. She's working in, in Europe. And I said, okay, that's my challenge. I'm going to do travel. So for today's class, I'm not going to do a full step-by-step. Step. I'm going to give you the pointers. Um, so I'm going to do travel layout um, using City of Love. And my daughter's a travel. She, she travels for work. She goes from uh, to different, um, she's got different contracts in Europe. So she would, would travel from one city to the next, depending on where a contract takes her. So I'm busy documenting that. And, and this was her last trip where she went from, from um, Nice over to Geneva. And from Geneva, she went to um, um, Mozin. So this is the little trip that, that she's doing. And there's a lot of photos. She, she WhatsApps me and it's photos galore. So I really need to have a lot of photos that I, that I can document. But I do love the decorating part. So quickly to go through that, with your mint tape papers, um, yes, you're gonna, I'm going to use my second layout. I'm going to use one of the big papers with the, with this, with the scene, and I'm going to use specific this one with the animals. So it's either this one or the gate. Love, love, love this gate. So I'm going to fussy cut open. So that's my project for the month of NSD that I'm going to do the second layer to show you how I use it to do a pet layout. Um, so these scenes are, are perfect to, to do a double page or a single page layout and that I will use the full one, the, the, the 12 by 12 for my second layout. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the first layout using the different types of products and, um, and then obviously I'm going to show you how to use this page, um, page number six, it's got different scenes. So you can totally, totally fussy cut if there's something that you need. You fussy cut it out or you use it as a journaling card or you can use the frames. So on the back is the, frame, the frames. Now with the, this, this last um, range, the new ones that's coming, there won't be any frames anymore on the back. Uh, a little bit of a quick view because I do have one here. So this is what the page number six looks from from these new um, collections going forward. I am just going to jump up every now and then because my camera tends to this this arm is is tending to fall down a bit. So sneak peek. Um, this is what's coming. Um, to Kcraft to the shops very very soon um, I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek of a few other products there and I'm going to use this page and then I use one of the other colors I don't want to use the green the green was a bit too much for me I would use the green in one of you see the the zoo was here um, I do apologize for that um, I'm going to use the, the green page for, for my second layout also to pick up the colors. Um, then in your ranges, there's these fussy cuts and the 
um, six by six papers and then also you get the extra fussy cut sheets now you do get in your this one the fussy cut um, sheet in the back I I'm a fussy cut fanatic I have got um, a whole drawer where I keep my fussy cuts in um, little Nico bags I would take a range and fussy cut everything out and then keep it in a Miko and I will just pull whatever I need from there. But I'm using this and I'm using the 6x6. So I want to show you how do you use the 6x6. So a lot of people use this paper for mini albums, for cards and not for scrapbooking. So I am using this 6x6 as my focal because I love this door. I didn't want to have the whole door here because I... I have a lot of photos for this layout, so I I wanted to to have it a bit more um, just um, using these elements. I'm going to use a lot of fussy cuts. Um, I've already pulled, but I want to show you these ones. And then my six by six, I wanted to use the door with the bicycle. So her when she sent me these photos, she says, "This is how you know you're in Switzerland." So so I'm definitely these are my journaling cards. Where I'm going to put it. I do also do little screenshots of her WhatsApps, little messages, and I'm going to stick it down. So for this this tutorial, I'm going to do that afterwards. Um, but I'm going to do some journaling, and I'll show you what I'm going to do um, with the with that one. Um, and these fussy cuts are absolutely. I love fussy cutting, but I cannot. And you do get extra elements in here. You get some words and like that arch is not on your normal fussy cut sheet but i need to show you this um with me loving fussy cut i cannot cut like this let me put it on this one here let me put it down there i cannot fussy cut like this these fussy cuts are amazing so Although I, I love fussy cuts, I cannot do this. So I always, always now buy the fussy cut um, ones for the extras. And I've, I've already done my selection here. So I would pull, for example, the ones that I'm going to need for this layout. Um, and then use that. Whatever I don't use, I will then put back. And I will put this in my Miko um, with my fussy cuts cut from my sheet. And then my 6x6. My six the, the other one thing that you can also do with your 6x6 six six is the backgrounds. Um, you can totally use these for matting. You can mat your photos. These, these multiple, this, uh, what is it again? Four of each. Yes, four of each. Um, there's these mini frames. Um, for my next layout, I'm going to use a few mini frames in, in mind to, to show you how you can use it. And even cutting out these because they are different compositions in these um little three well three by six and these are i think two by one and a half um and then the fussy cut sheet has got also a few elements in that's part of the whole collection and this is just the extra one that i have there you see every time i do this i mess up my layout so those are the, the papers that I'm going to use that for this challenge. Now, NSD is about using your stash that you have. If you do not have a Minta collection, um, it's okay. Use what you have and just cut your... These are all my 4 by, um, four by 3s So I use 4 by 3s This is a um, 6 by 4 6 by 4 and then you can cut whatever you have in a 6x6. Uh, six six. This is 6x4. So where you, and if you, if you have anything else that you can use, if you don't have frames, don't worry about that. Um, Kcraft is so, so amazing. You can, and I'm going to um, add the link for you to, to their website. You can, as a, as a, um, uh, what, what do we call us that that's not the shop we are not retailers we are a general public i forgot the word now 
we can place orders on the Capecraft website and um, that order will be processed. It will then go via your nearest um, scrapbook shop or craft shop that's closest to you and you will be invoiced by them. And you have then the option to have it delivered to your house or you can collect it in store and go see what other nice goodies the shop um, um, got in store. So it's it's absolutely amazing that you that they've got the service and um, able to, to get to more people um, get the stock. So and if you love this range, this still stock you can order. I'll, I'll pop the link for you order from Kate Craft and, she, and uh, Kim will make sure that, that you get it um, to your closest store. Then I also, because I'm doing a travel book, now again, what I want to say, I'm doing the travel book. So I pulled my little travel book and you can see um, I do have some, in a lot of cases, because sometimes to relax, I know people think I'm crazy, but when I had a rough day or something, I would lie in front of the TV and just fussy cut. But I haven't done the travel one so much. As you can see, I've done some of them. So I've cut some of these ones, elements that I wanted to use. And when I looked at it, yes, it's green. I'll, I'll get you my colors now. So my, my paper is this like sage green, olive green, um, pinkish and my theme I've got now is the bicycle, here's another bicycle, the, the bridges, the scenes, so I'm, I'm, I've got a few of these, um, somewhere I had another one of these that I actually wanted to rather use, um, when I'm going to redo I'll see what I'm going to use, I, I lost one I think, I think so, I think so. I really wanted to use this one somewhere. I can't remember. Anyway, these photos have got a lot of like your purple and bluish and things. And and look how awesome and the green. So I've chosen South Perth Travel. There's the green, there's more blue, the credit card. So I usually take two colors as my main color and I will see what it looks like when I start putting it together I will see because because it will make an awesome pop of color just to have a bit of this in between um, and then I took some words out so these are the words that you get in your in your um, fussy cut so I would get, um, I'm not going to use, I cut these ones and then smaller ones depending on where I'm going to put them. So I've cut a few of those that I'm going to see and the ones that uh, I'm not going to use, I will then put back in my little Miko. Once I'm done, oops. And every time I do this I mess it a little bit, yeah. Now if you're not going to do a travel and let's say your theme is not, not valentine but it's it's a wedding you can totally cover up let's say you don't want love the wedding is love but you don't want just that although a wedding has got love but you want to maybe add that little book or you can totally go and add different elements pull out your wedding book and you can put this cake on top there with some champagne um, for the wedding or it's the kitchen tea, something like that. So you can always take, if you look at Minta's colors, there's, there's always something that matches. You can totally use any of these elements in here to change the whole theme of the paper collection. And you can use this with other collections as well. Um, if you've got any other paper, you, you always, you can use the travel pack, the wedding pack, and even make it a baby baby layout so if you look at all these um look at all these colors you can totally cover up the love um if you see uh, yeah um I'm, I'm covering up the pigeons and the keys because i'm putting my door my photo in there by the door um i'm still going to see how i put it in that love i'm going to cover up with 
part of my title and my thing there i might put another um, fussy cut but you can totally add some baby stuff i do have a lot of baby things cut already so i keep my book separate and then i have my loose fussy cuts in a separate nico bag and another tip is also how to use all these i do the ones that i know i'm i'm never going to use you know this this side um i cut the frame out because i use the frame a lot in in a lot of layouts um so with my frame book and i also have once we you know i've got the paper and i cut a lot of them out i use them as um, i've already rounded some of them their corners i think these yeah these ones so i've rounded their corners and i use them for journaling cards in my on my layout so there's so many that you can choose to that will match either color of mint or color of any of your other collections that you can use as a journaling card so you can totally put a journaling card anywhere so if you wanted to put your journaling card like that you can totally do it i went for a block layout i know a uh, block layout seems simple and seems like it's um it's it's maybe an easy way out for scrabble king but I wanted to do this one as a block layout but to show you how different you can make a block layout you don't have to have you know a, a three by three all of them or a four by four or something like that you can you can mix up a block layout a bit so this is this is the base of my layout I have already cut everything in cut my matting and um, then so the paper is sponsored by k craft um kim has sent me this paper pack um thank you kim and um she also sent me then some some chipboards so if you go on the website just look for snip art um i just want to see if it doesn't shine too much let me get up yes let me just bring it up will it will you be able to see it snip art so just look for your snip art. There's beautiful chipboard as well as Minta has also got some beautiful sheets of chipboard. No, I did not. Where is it? I did not put it here where I'm now doing my recording. There's some awesome um, chipboard that's already cut. I'm going to use this heart. I'll show you what I'm doing. Yes, I, say, I know I'm going to cover this heart, but I'm going to do something else with this with my travel and my titles and things that I've got. So I will show you what I'm going to do with this heart and my awesome, awesome chalk paints. So the chalk paints that also match. I just love creating with this. And I will do in a month a non mint paper using these products so that you can see how, how awesome it is to mix and match. This gate is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it goes with, I'm definitely doing a layout. Can you see where, where I'm going with all of this? So for this class, I'm doing one. Let me just get, where is that gate? It's page one, page two, three. If you look at this gate. So my class is, is not a layout and we're going to just do one layout. I'm, I'm, my class is to show you how you can mix and match and how you go about choosing photos, choosing a theme, choosing your colors and choosing your elements that you want to go with it. So now I've got my photos, I've got my, my paper that I wanted to do because I've wanted to add the bicycles, goes with the bicycles. Um, this I will use with another layer. This one I'm going to do with it, with that. This I'm going to use with this layout, which I will show you how I'm going to paint that. And then just one more product that I want to show, and this is what I do a lot. Um, uh, when I'm going to put all of this together, I love a little bit of height and things. I I don't do flat. They, they, I've got one or two or three flat, flat, flat layouts. Um, for me, I'm not a flat earther. <laughs> um, I'm not, I, I, I like dimension. I like movement. If you don't like it, 
and and I, let me just say not like it let me say if you are not a fan of it or if if it's not your style don't do it um keep yours flat like it is now you can totally do that um do what you like don't try and copy and that my classes are like that i i give you ideas to to use i don't want your page to look exactly like mine you can by all means make it exactly like mine um i would be honored if you make yours exactly like mine but my my classes are more to get you to think a little bit out the box using your products don't buy something and you do one layout that was a valentine for your daughter that went to a valentine ball and now you sit with a paper. You can do so much with your paper. Um, I'm going to show you that now. The, the, another product that I do want to show while I'm on the layers and I'm going to lift some of them up because I'm going to put some elements underneath is Minta has got this uh, 12 by 12 sheets of um, um, chipboard. These are awesome if you're going to do mixed media. So I'm try and get it let me just take it out so it doesn't shine so much these are so 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 awesome so this is part of the pack that i won in the december um competition um mint day um competition um i've got the most stunning goodies oh, i'm going to do a video of that as well just need to get after just get nsd over and done with um so this is so so awesome to do your layouts it's thin it's it's um really really awesome now one thing that i do do is when i layer i lift my pins and double-sided tape for me doesn't work i it, it, eventually the glue on the double-sided tape comes off or um, something so I use I use my cut off cuts so I've got a number of it I do have a little bowl that I've got them in so I keep my little off cuts so I've got a few here when I'm going to put together these are my little off cuts and I cut them so that I can lift and get um, my chipboards up I feel a bit sorry but I might you know keep one because they're a bit thicker than my other chipboards and it might be easier um, but I'm definitely going to take at least one every now and then and cut it up um, and the rest I will do some mixed media layouts on it. It's absolutely super. Now, <laughs> and Kim sent me a new of this glue class. This glue is amazing. Uh, for the price you pay for it, it is absolutely amazing. I, no, I didn't even open it. I'm going to start using it because I want to show you what happened. I use maybe a tube like this in a week or two weeks and um, I'm very rough with my glue because when I do I glue and I need to stick on once I've done my layout and I've got my idea what I want to do I go and I glue and I bought a whole bunch um, you know when it was still in this metal and this is what happened now this was one that I misplaced so I think from the heat and me mishandling it this is what happened. Um, I would usually finish the glue before it even get to this stage. But now it's in this awesome non-metal uh, <laughs> thing. I don't know if you guys also had that problem. Remember when the toothpaste was um, in the metal in the metal tubes? Oh, I just couldn't. I always had some place where it, when you roll it up like that and it swishes and You've got toothpaste and you try and get your toothpaste out and it goes into your hand. And Kim now sent me this one. So I'm definitely using this one today in this new tube. It's so awesome. And it's got um, a finer tip. So you can do a lot more precision um, gluing with, with, with that glue. It's really, really awesome glue. Another glue that I also use, I'm just going to step away because I need to go get it, is um, when I do a lot of layering, I love to use the old bar, this one, um, if I know that I'm going to move stuff around. With my cloud compositions, I'm already, I, I put it down, I know how I do that. But if I do a new type of something that I haven't done before and it's layers, 
I would use this because it gives you that dimension, um, but you can still move it. And um, if you're not in a hurry and you don't need to move the page, you can leave it to dry. If you've got a place where you can dry it, then by all means, this is fantastic, fantastic to, to do your mixed media, do your layering, um, so you can do that on your job. The next thing, and I'm going to bring back my page. So what I did was on page six, I had a look at which elements I want to use. So I knew I want to use the bicycle because it goes with my theme. And I knew that, you know, I'm not going to use the arch in this layout, but, you know, I liked um, that one. And I definitely wanted one of these frames. So... I had already that one that I needed from, wanted from there. So on here, I think the door and the, the, the window goes a bit more, so I can always use the window, though I'm moving them around. Um, I decided I'm going to keep this bottom one. I did not cut this one up, so I literally just cut it, um, just this, six uh, by, by four um, strip, and... I then scored it, so I just scored it at, at 3, 6, so I just placed it down, scored it at, let me just put it nicely on the left, adorable scoreboard is adorable, at 3, 6 and 9, and then I did a uh, fold, so I made this a, a mini little little um i don't know if i wanted to say z fold and i had the name just now a <laughs> accordion little album um a lot of people do not like interactive because they want to keep it in their pages this one i added it at the top so i don't have to cut out my my um my cover page oh, my 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 plastic when I insert it into the, the protective uh, page that goes into my album and it's easy to just pull it out and open this one um, so this is what I'm going to do so I'll, I'm going to do a lot of journaling and I've got a lot a few more photos that I want to add there and when I print photos I print a number of them and I did have now a set of my extra photos. Here it is to show you when I print photos what it looks like. So I would print a whole bunch. So these two must still go um, um, in here yeah, because this was a whole journey. I need to reprint this because I need to move it down. That's where she went from um, Nice all the way up to Geneva and then into um, uh, Mosin. Um, and this is just a little thingy key. So she would always send me her before she travels um, on the on the trip thing. I would follow her as she as she travels. So those I'm gonna cover this up because I don't want this. I'm gonna cover up this because I don't want it. So there's gonna be a photo. There's gonna be a photo. This I'm gonna make a little shaker, and then I might put something in there. Here I'm gonna do journaling as well, and. That will be a page and I sort of printed my photos of my zoo ones that I'm going to do on the next page. So with my Canon, I've got an app there that I choose the sizing. So for this, I did my photos in a, in a six by three, uh, three by four, um, all done for this, these photos. And then I just did my normal printing on a six by four for the bigger ones. So that being said, I am going to start with this and show you when I do my color selection as well. I pull all my pinks, I pull all my greens. So, and I know blush. So I pulled my blush and I knew I had to, to use blush for when I do it. I chose this paper for backing on this side. I know I'm going to cover up most of the paper here, so I'm not going to waste my pattern paper. I just added a blush here for where 
something's going to stick out but i'm going to decorate these two blocks um so you won't even see the background here i wanted to see a bit of background my title's going to go there then i pull my greens as well and see for example because i always have my foliage and i would see what color so i have my olive and this one is a basil basic color uh chandelier so i pull and i look at different greens that go with my paper i use um usually these solid or, the, or these background papers to do my color selection so i would take this one for example and do my pink and the green one is on the green one green one this one green one lost the green one again and it was here just now it's my green paper and I'll press the cut Let's use the green one now. But anyway, I used the other paper that reflects this, but let me just use this one for now to, to get the coloring. So I would go for whatever is this one, and I would I do this in daylight. This lighting that lighting lighting that you see here is is not going to give you the right color so if you're going to then look at your album somewhere out in the daylight um it's not might not look right so i pull my pins look at all my pins and i get to my colors that i use and here i see i've got the pink and then i also have a bit of um the maroon so i will pull my um former granite former granite looks beautiful with that so those are my color options and like I said, I also have this bluish, purplish color. So I also pulled a color that might go with that. Just for, as an option when I start um, doing my final decorations. But I already decided and these are my mats and my backgrounds. And my foliage. And I'm definitely using the pink for the flowers. So what I will then do next is go look at all the, my other embellishments that I have and I bought some out here. I will then go pull some ribbon, some flowers, as you can see um, which ones might look good. Some of my green, my foliage that will go with these because I'm going to make it a bit of a dimensional. And then also my packs of flowers I pull. These are flowers that I make myself. I absolutely love my flowers. And I also brought in again that same um, color. What was it again? Impatience. Um, just to pick up here and there. I would usually go for two colors. I would go for the pink with the green and then maybe this or maybe that one. But I will see. When I start putting them together, what it will look if I'm just going to do a pop of this um, or maybe just a tiny little flowers. So that is what I'm going to do now is going to start assembling. And I'm going to just put these ones down here again. And do but keep moving and just take all of this away so that I've got some space. I'm going to bump something in. It's absolutely chaos. And the next thing that I want to show you is to do your titles. Now, doing your titles on I, I, I cut it on my Cricut. If if you have a Cricut or you've got any other other cutting machine and you're doing your titles, I'm going to show you. You don't have to always make something that's all in one to get it off yeah um, and then to go and put places all one by one is also going to take forever so i'm going to show you a very very easy way to do it here's my tiny little oh i just need to sit on my cameras in 
yeah my camera is still there it's fine so yes a tiny little travel i'll show you what i do how i put that on so these are my titles that i'm going to start adding but first i'm going to just paint my chibot i'm going to bring out my mat i'm so i'm going to put it on top because i don't want to move this layout now again beautiful it is when you start adding the colors to your chibot you can totally use the, there's some layers where i use my chibot as is because i want that natural color a lot with the babies um things there's a lot of pink and blues and you want to have a very neutral color um i would do that or or anything where you think the neutral will be best so I'm going to do this green because I'm going to put it on the right hand side where there's a pink background and I'm going to do this pink. Now I'm going to see quickly, um, I think I think when last I opened this one. So my paint, so what I want to show you, I'm going to get one that I haven't opened in a long time. Yeah, this one. With this paint, if you open it and it looks like this, you see the water on top, don't cry, it's not the end of the world, it's normal, totally, totally, totally normal. The, the chalk separates from the binding uh, material in it, so don't stress. All you do is you close it up again, shake it all about. Might have to shake it a bit. Um, I can't shake too much. Uh, I've got a few rib broken ribs, so moving is isn't that easy for me. So I don't want to do this. Um, just shake it up like this. I'm gonna make sure my is in camera. Excuse the sniff, and off you go. There's my paint. Okay, so it is all mixed up again. No need to get out the tissues and cry and say you wasted your money. You didn't. It is still perfect. So I'm just going to shake this one up again a bit. And then this one. And I'm going to paint the pink first. That's a lighter color in case I don't wash my brush off too much. If you guys use different brushes, different colors, if it's bright, bright, bright colors, I will take a new brush. But for this, the chalk paint comes off quite easily. So I'm going to quickly do this and on a paint. So you'll see this chipboard is thirsty. You can totally um, add some gesso first and then paint. I don't. With the chalk paint, I just paint over and I give it that very light color. Um, very, very thirsty. So I'm going to just paint this quickly. So at this point, when I do the video, I'm going to just fast forward. Um, and play some music for you. So that you don't have to watch me paint.
So the idea of this one, I said I don't want love and heart and things, but I had this idea of putting one of these die cuts here. These is going to go behind it like this and then I've got the word travel because my daughter loves to travel she cannot sit still she cannot be in one place for longer than two months three months or even at home for a day oh but I also forgot to tell you also my inking what I do is when I do my papers I go and pull my inks I definitely know and because I know my my sponge sugar my sponge sugar is always always my best pink for for when I do this lighter color pink but you can definitely go for one of the darkest but I wanted to stick with the very light pink for my inking and that so but then for the green I went to go for three greens just to see which one works the best and um, for this paper again I used the the big sheets but I just want to show I rather went with the um, forest moss um, it's, it's one of my favorite green um, if you've got something that's green because it's really really it goes with so much the others are you, you can use it but they a bit light I would always I always go with um, a bit darker inking and painting rather than lighter depending what what effect you're looking for but for de-stressing I would go for your darker colors if you want to use your ink for de-stressing specifically. Um, also another tip, I put some little Velcro thing, it's just the one side and I keep my um, sponges underneath and I store my ink like that. Then I know there's the sponge and each ink has got its own sponge. So let's put this away. And I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Then I'm going to start doing my composition a little bit. Oh, no, wait. Let me first show you the titles. I'm going to let me do the titles. If you've, if you've cut it out on a one of your electronic cutting machines, I just want to pull out this and this on top sorry for this if it's going to glare now but i don't want to mess up now my layout every time i put something on top of it i move the stuff around and um, i want to keep it as easy and i don't want anything to stick on this so this one is easy i can i can totally totally pull it off it's all in one this is my offset so I'm going to do one for you to show you how it works and then I'm going to do the rest off camera because I don't want this glass to be too long and I'm going to do my composition and then thereafter I'm going to glue everything down I've got my little glue gun which I'm not going to film everything I'm going to show you just how I put my stuff down and, and do the composition and I will do that off camera and I will then post the final layout so this class is really really for tips and tricks this trick is a game changer I promise I promise I promise you do not pull your you know a lot of people have do the, their titles and then they although you want it um, you know all you know, I, I don't want always want my, my title to be a, um, and I forgot that word as well, um, all in one. I, I wanted separate letters. And for me, sometimes, depending how big or small you go, um, I don't want to go sit and do them each one by one, especially if you go smaller. Um and if you've got a lot of words, I do sometimes do a whole lot of description, which is a long one, and I'm not going to sit and do all those letters by myself. What I've got here is from your hardware store. You get 
Um, this is called drywall tape. Um, this one was used already, so I'm going to see how sticky it is. If it's not, and, and, and you can re totally reuse. So if it's not st uh, sticky enough anymore, then let me move it in camera. Yeah. Then I will uh, cut a new piece. So you can totally, it, it's sticky, but it's not sticky. You can totally, totally, totally reuse it. Sticking. If you're going to put transfer tape on that paper, you are going to cry. Your paper is going to split. Remember, uh, paper is it's layers and layers of sheets. So if you're going to put transfer um, paper or transfer sheet on here, pull it off and try and stick it. When you pull your transfer sheet off, your, your paper is going to go with it. Good old... Um, Go and this I can take off. Um, I just want to put all of it on in case one of it pops off when I turn this. Where's my scissors? Just so I can keep them all together. On this one, I will do like two pieces, just double pieces. In first, and I'm going to do this one as all in one. It's going to become a bit now. I'll just tuck that on because I don't, I'm not going to pull that off now, and that way it will stick. And look at this, I'm going to pull it off, and just make sure my eye dot is on there. I'm going to keep that eye where it should be. There we go. And there's my word. Now, all I'm going to do is glue and stick. And you will see how quickly it comes off. And you don't have to glue the whole one. You see how I am not with my glue sometimes. With a very, very small title, I am going to use my other glue bottle that's got the that micro tip. Um, I do use this one for the very, very, very tiny ones. Uh, I decant into this bottle. This is also one of my very favorite. You can see the bottle is well used. Um, I buy big bottles and then I decant into the smaller one because um, it's just easier to use. And I just add the fluff because I lose stuff. So I used to lose that thin. I'll just add something that's bright. I think if I'm going to change, I've had that one on for maybe six years. I've had that green thing there on the pin. Um, I just take it off every now and then and I wash it. Because if I'm going to change it to another, I've, I've got actually, I bought other, it's, it's it's like a lace thing that you buy, like when you buy lace. Um, just cut it off. Um, and I've got other colors as well, but I thought if I'm going to change that color now, I'm not going to find my pin again because I'm looking for the green. I won't be used to looking for any other color. And here's my offset. You can totally ink that. And I'm going to put this down and we've got some clay, I think. Is there a lot of clay? Something on the clay. That's not that bad. That's fine. And here's my title. Without me really having to do it word for word. And it's nice using wet glue. You can move it around. My eye is on. 
and put it here under this knot. And there's my title. And I can pull. So I just make sure your glue grips before you pull this off. You see there, it's not, it's not that sick yet. This, this is not going to um, damage your, your cardstock or anything. It does have a bit of a grip. So if your glue at the bottom is not set, it's still very wet, it will come back up, but it's not like it's going to damage it. So there is my title. And again, like I said, I, I just reuse these pieces and I'll put it back in the plastic bag because it's... You can reuse and reuse and reuse, and it's very inexpensive. Um, this type, I honestly cannot remember how much it was, but it, it's 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 really inexpensive. And for the amount that you use, and how often you reuse, um, really, it's it's so worth it, and it's a game changer. So this is my title. And the other title so I'm going to quickly put these things together and guys and girls because I am very late with all my um, all my stuff because of my injury I will then finish my page and I will post it once I'm done with everything so I'm just going to start putting my things together to show you how I do so this is going to be my title yeah and now I'm going to start doing my flowers. Oh, this one. You see how they move? Um, I need to reprint this photo because I wanted the whole suitcase in and I forgot to move the, the suitcase in, um, you know, in the photo. So I'm going to have to reprint that one before I stick it back on. So now I'm going to start playing with, here's my title and down here is going to be my um, November 2022. That's when she went to Mozin. She's still there now. And over here, I'm going to start putting my... So now this is where I'm going to start doing my composition. You see how I've got now everything that matches. I've got all my fussy cuts. I've got everything that I that I want to use. Um, on here. So now I'm going to start playing around, looking at... I'm going to put it here and then start building because I'm going to bring this page down like this. Um, and I'm going to definitely put some flowers here. So I want to go for pink here first. And that color. And then I'll see if that very wrinklish color is going to work. Definitely gonna add this year and this year. If you're not a flower person, don't worry. You don't have to be you don't have to put flowers. If you then want to rather add two more square photos or two more photos down here, totally, totally, totally up to you. So this is my idea of how to do these layouts. This is my idea of how I mix and match collections mix and match my um, fussy cuts I always use the flowers to add it below to bolt onto a composition that I have for example there so I will have I will put it down there okay, let's just again make sure no it's not in it's not in camera see my camera keeps on moving down so this is how I'm going to start building up this one I'm going to move this camera just a bit more down that you can see here so this is how I then do I will use some of these flower fussy cuts because that one is so cut off there from that page I will take it and start building I don't want to cover some too much of the bicycle um, but I'm going to start moving and just have that paper there maybe this maybe more pink oh goodness Oh my goodness, and there we are. So, this is how I've been doing. So, this is what I'm going to, this is the process I follow. Then I'm going to start adding, and another tip, go in threes. 
Uh, I don't want that one in there and I can put this one in there and then I'll put some more um, of this foliage there. Some more foliage down here. And then I'm going to start looking at um, where she went on the train. The train will be where she paid traveling. Um, I want to add this one to to yeah by this bone so i will make little clusters i will add this one so this one goes with this so i will for example add this one there and her backpack this bags and there's another one fussy cut with the bags are gonna go here once i've got that bag done so here's a little cluster on that page let me move this page so this cluster will be here. These will be moving up. Oh, so frustrating until you get it down. And everything keeps on moving. And I'm definitely adding these as backgrounds. I will be adding them as backgrounds. Some more fussy cuts. And also on top. I sometimes would add a small one like this on top there. And... Um, Add one here in the background. There. And a cell phone on top. Stick it in the flower. This is where I'm starting to do. And I will lift with my pieces of board where there are frames. Everything that's going to be in frames, I am going to lift up. I'm going to just lift it up a bit off the page. So everywhere where there's frames, I'm going to lift it up. So this is my process of doing a page. I really, really first want to just see, well, before I end this, this video, um, what it's going to look like with, with that color. In. Here's that one, and I want to do a passport. I want to do a big passport to bring that color in. Yeah, over here. And definitely then bring one in on the other side and I'll see this what it's gonna look like if I bring a third color. Just a pop. Just put on there. Maybe 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 one there. Work in threes. And then on this side. Bring this color in because See, I've got, I've got that one. Can you see yeah, what it looks like? Guys, I'm so sorry. My back is starting to get extremely sore. So my camera, I forgot my camera was down. Look, look how that, that blue pops. Just look at it. It looks amazing. So I'm definitely going to put that in. And if I look on this page, bring that one in with that one. And to balance it, I would, for example, put um, another one there on that page. And I would take the smaller ones. And I would also balance over there. So can you see how my clusters are starting to form? Um, my ribbon might go around here. Yeah? Um, and then, uh, yeah, what I wanted to show you, what I want to do with the heart, and then it should be dry now. It's not completely dry. I want to put this down, and then this. And I'm going to put this, this, it says the love. See there, it says love. Look how beautiful that looks. And there's also the word love, but um, I've, I've um, done the word travel, which I'm going to do the same process that I've done. I've not taken it off because I'm first going to use my little small tool. So can you see there, it says travel. So this is just to say love travel. So I'm going to add this. Um, on this page 
to fill this one up a bit down by the by one of these so can you see how my compositions are uh, how i do my compositions and my layouts i will then finish this thing it might not be today because yeah i unfortunately have this this back injury the ribs that's broken um so sitting down for so long um, it's a bit difficult for me so these are my pages and this is my process and the products that i use so i really really hope that you are going to enjoy taking the products that you have and if you have got um some mente papers to use it and see what you, else you can do in terms of layouts specifically doing double page layouts and then if you don't have minty papers for this class and um, for to submit for the prize um, you can use any paper doing the three by four um, papers doing a block layout selecting colors that that's a, a, a collection that you use it for anything for something that it was not specifically intended for like a travel using a love page or a baby range use uh, using a travel range to make a baby layout so this is the challenge using your little using three by fours and mix and match with other ones as well as using a a collection for a, a, a layout of a story that you want to tell that's not um really for the theme that that you want to use it for so that is the challenge and and that is what i'm challenging you today and I hope you really, really enjoyed. And honestly, I do love that blue with this. With this, it, it's really, really beautiful. And the more I look at it, the more I like it. So, girls and guys, I hope there are guys out there. Um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely NSD and enjoy your function um, wherever you're going tomorrow. For those that's going to the actual in-person NSDs, um, have a ball. The um the teachers, the shops, the the assistants, the the helpers, the everybody has gone beyond. I, I cannot I cannot explain to you the things that I've seen that they were busy with, all secret of course. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not I'm I've I've seen some of it. Um, they they. They go through so much trouble and the prizes are amazing and you guys are going to have a ball. So please enjoy and have a fantastic, fantastic NSD, fantastic um, SA NSD month of February and get those entries in. Would love to see your version of um, this challenge that I'm challenging you. And I will then finish my layout at the same time you doing your layout as well as I'm going to do a second one for my little zoo. Well, one of my little zoo um, people, uh, person, no, it's not a people's person, my, my zoo um, four-legged babies. But I'm doing definitely all of them, but for this month I will do one more. And have a ball enjoy and once again thanks so much for kcraft for bringing in all this amazing products and uh, thank you for the sponsorship for this uh, paper pack and the fussy cuts and the chippies um, and you almost all have a fantastic nsd thank you so much bye bye